All right. here we go. IAF starting up north. Yep, and their opponents, Team Efficiency, starting down south. And uh, IAF uh, opting for the bigger guns here, but uh, considering their starting position, I'm not too surprised. So, three MX 15s, yes. uh, a 110, and a KV-5. Yeah. So, uh, all heavy tanks out there, whereas their opponents uh, from Efficiency uh, opting, uh, well, switching that 110 for a T69 medium. Yep. Controlled by Botech 9, so, um, well. Okay, IF Professional, do you reckon they're gonna have the exact same setup as the Inspired Aggregator Force? I, because I, it, it is bro, the same tank selection. Man. It is the same tank I selection. Would, I would not be surprised. I mean, these guys, they, 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 I'm, pr I'm sure they practice here all the time. And, and look at that. It, it is the same thing. It's almost pretty similar. Almost except, the same thing. Except that one tank up uh, on the way north, if he goes right on the railway, then it's the exact same setup. And something oh yeah, and he, well. and he's, moving, he's moving over there. Yeah, yeah look at that. Look it is at the that. exact same setup as the Inspired Stand Aggregate stop. Force. And I'm actually curious, stop. what if those two teams <laughs> meet in the semis then? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, it is exactly, well I mean it's a proven tactic uh, mm -hmm. so far. And now taking a look at their opponents uh, from uh, of course uh, Team Efficiency, they're mirroring what uh, UAD did. It's kind of, yeah. It, it's well, at least the first time like they okay, but okay, look at Team IEF right now. It oh is yeah. the exact, exact same lineup or the exact same setup right now that Inspire Aggregate Force has. Yeah, but it, it is standard though. I mean, playing on no. Ensk, it is standard. Mm, not, but it's not the exact same thing. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, but then again, we see, we okay, see okay, there's, there's like a wee bit of movement here okay, coming okay, on, yeah, the, here uh, go, here on the air professional side. And the T1 scout actually going out. Yeah, good job T1. Just, uh, well, he has been play. spotted. He has been spotted. He has been spotted. But he is under cover right now, so... Well, he is. And, well, as expected, really, not much going on. Uh, okay, but as I was saying, usually, okay, on ends, we see, you know, standard setups where they kind of guard the northern edge, but we never see two games in a row having both teams <laughs> have the same... Same you said exact it. You setup. You said it yourself. But these the, guys the, probably practice yeah, together. Yeah. They're from the same clan, so yeah. I mean. Uh, but still, man, come on. Well, come yeah. on. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's just I think it's it's rather unlucky for you. Uh, I want to say yeah. that uh, these teams had to play back to back on the same day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, having said that, right now taking a look at the efficiency side, well, they're they're pretty. Uh, their their formation is pretty standard as well when it comes to starting down south on on Ansk. They're clearly not. Uh, on the risk taking business here. Yeah. Either team, man. Because, you know, well, but we then we again, I, I efficiency, I don't blame them, though. I mean, because th there's, it, there's really not much that you can do. Once again, yeah. I would love to be proven wrong, but. Uh, like, we talk about this every time we play on Ensign. Yeah, we do, we do. The team starting down south is gonna lose. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, unless they come up with something absolutely. Yeah. Because the thing stellar is that I haven't seen yet, or unless the team starting up north is a wee bit more adventurous than we've seen so far. Yeah. Uh, but uh, well, I mean, it, it, I mean, it's not really guaranteed that the team starting down south is gonna lose. It's just the fact that okay, the T1 that the gets taken down. So uh, yeah, Hatsune Miku yeah. was shot down by Tanaka. Anyway, so basically, the team starting down south almost always loses because the team starting up north never. That's true, <laughs> but even if there's a city push, even if there's a city push, like uh, the geography of this map, like really does give you an advantage. Even if you uh, make a city push on both sides, uh, whoever starts up north will still have a slight edge. Uh, yeah. That can't be helped. Yep, I really want to see. I gotta see, gotta see, like yeah, something really amazing happen. I wish like a Draki would be possible on this map. Oh yeah, yeah. If you guys don't know what a Draki is, watch the K League. But yeah, watch Team Draki. Yeah, those guys are good. Yeah, those guys are those guys are creative, man. And they got a lot of time. Oh man, I got a loss of words right now. <laughs> well, I mean, like, yeah, I I think the uh, I think the minimap speaks for itself. Yeah. Uh, as of now, because nobody's moving, and uh, five minutes already down uh, on the counter. And Actually, uh, I, I I really want I really 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 want. The minimap that the K League has. Well, where you can see what's going on uh, yeah, overall. At all times. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, you yeah. know that's. 
Uh, well, you know, unfortunately, it's just, uh, it's just, I guess, uh, uh, the, the wargaming sign, like on the on the green side, pretty much is done just a wee bit more work. But mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, patches and, and upgrades are uh, on the menu as well. It's just uh, I have to be a wee bit patient on that one. Yeah. Now it does look like IF is trying to sort of get a bit of a peak. Although, uh, you know what? When it comes to efficiency, they're like, if possible, even more regrouped. Was their starting yeah, point. Yeah, they, they actually backed up a little bit, so they're actually playing more defensive than they they were before. Well, I mean, they're just hiding behind that wall, pretty much, which is the last stand wall. Like, who's gonna go there, though? Well, I mean, <laughs> no, basically, no. If there's a city push right now, uh -huh. right now, uh, efficiency would have the advantage. However, if there's a flank coming from the force right now, they would be in a world of trouble. Uh, but mm. but, but they do have those a couple buildings over there that, that do give them cover as well. Yeah, they, they would, but uh, you know what? For now, if 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 Professional could get a look at what we're seeing, mm. uh, they, they would split their forces yeah, yeah, and actually yeah, just probably, go uh, for a crossfire and there would be nothing that efficiency could do. But uh, right now, of course, they can't know that. Mm. And considering how uh, IF Professional has been playing, well, right now, uh, and I don't blame them, efficiency is banking on an all-defense last stand type of uh, formation, which would give them the advantage if there was a city push, which there's not. Yep. Yeah, because, I mean, these teams should know each other well enough to know that, you know, IF is probably not going to push down south. So, you know... Positioning yourself in that manner is, I mean, it's, it's not really going to get you anywhere unless IF, I don't know. Well, they, IF is, is uh, gradually like creeping and, down you know. south more and more because they're realizing that their opponents mm -hmm. have been retreating more and more. As a matter of fact, that T1 is yeah, almost yeah. at the base's entrance, just at the edge of the ruins. Yeah. Uh, so uh, right now they kind of know, okay, they're just all came down down south. Now the question remains, will IF take that risk? If you ask me, my answer would be no. Yeah, so that three minutes are in now. Yeah, I don't know, man. What do you think? Things to need uh, replay? Oh, yeah. I have absolutely no doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay, if, if for example, Team Fishy stayed in their initial positions, maybe we could have seen an engagement. But well, not really, they because they, uh, well, I mean, they, they, they pull back just to uh, give them the advantage of uh, playing down south, pretty much. And uh, I, right now, it's a conservative way to do this. Now, you know what? Uh, a lot more is on IAF right now, mm -hmm. and IAF decides not to move out. So, uh, basically... The one tank did move a little bit. A little well, bit sort out. of. I mean, they're creeping down south uh, as much as their uh, opponents are allowing them to, but they won't go for an assault because they know that uh, it would put them at a disadvantage. Uh, so... Right now, if IF is not being creative enough to just actually take some risk and either just go for the railroad or go for the forest, then we won't see anything happening. Look at that. They've been creeping down south just yeah. a wee bit more, but that's just about it. They're not taking any risk whatsoever. So, yes, we will go for a replay. With two minutes left, what's going to happen? Yeah. I mean, right now, okay, they're pushing down the railroad a wee bit. They're just realizing, okay, these guys really have retreated, but uh, uh, do you really see them making a frontal assault? No, I do not. The thing is, I, I don't know why efficiency did that, though. You know, in their minds, I, unless they want to replay... But I mean, because they're standing down south and they know they're, they're, they're at a disadvantage, so uh, they're, they're not going to give, like, IF Professional 2-1 lead, just give it away like that. At least, okay, you have the advantage, you play on end, so take some risks. You know, come to us, at least, at the very least. Why would we commit suicide and try to capture your base when we know, we both know it's Ooh, not going to happen? Yeah, T1 gets taken out. Big deal, <laughs> I want to <laughs> say, but you know what? It is hey on man, the IF side to take too. the risk. Yeah, they are. <laughs> 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 you got it. But wh what I'm saying is that it is on the IF professional side to take the risk. At least they should commit to a city push. I mean, especially since how I mean, this first, uh, I'm going to call it the first third set. Uh, is going on <laughs> next time we play on this, which would be oh in less man. than a minute. Yeah. They should actually take the risk and go for a city push at the very least. At mm. the very least, because right now I don't blame like team efficiency for doing this because of where they start and where we're playing. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So there you go. 45 seconds left on the clock, and uh, well, and they're retreating. We we're, we're going for replay. I think they're retreating. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, a little bit of movement coming out from Team Efficiency. Oh, they're just sending uh, their, their last T1. They're sending two heavy things out, though. Yeah. Upon well, the, yeah, the with, with 26 seconds left on the clock, what are you going to do anyways? 
Yeah. Might as well just uh, they could they could go for a give a pretense of a show. Yeah. I mean, what they could go for is like is that, it Terry, that, Terry that, that like one kill. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I Ten know, seconds man. left. I mean, they're trying to do <laughs> for a sneak shot, but uh, no. Yeah. 